Hello, Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In our next few videos, we're going to be taking a small detour away from the Sophos XG firewall and spend some time focusing on Sophos Central to assist with the configuration and deployment of the Sophos Synchronized Security. Then we'll shift our focus back to the Sophos XG firewall and tie it all together. With Sophos Synchronized Security, it's going to bring greater visibility and control, which is going to allow us to secure our endpoints and network as a whole. In today's video, I'm going to be covering Sophos Central AD integration, which is going to allow us to import users we've already created with an Active Directory and synchronize Active Directory to Sophos Central for a much simpler approach to managing our users. Typically, the first place we go when we're adding, terminating, or suspending a user's account is Active Directory. This AD Sync utility will allow us to relay this information up to Sophos Central so we only have to maintain and manage this from within Active Directory. Just another way that Sophos is simplifying security. Let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look. Our AD Sync utility is going to need to be installed on our Active Directory server. And if you're like most of us where our Active Directory or domain controller is isolated from the internet, you'll want to utilize a computer that does have access to the internet. So here in our lab environment, what I actually have is a workstation which is joined to our domain and I have our server. So I've got a couple of remote desktop sessions set up. The first session here we're looking at is our workstation. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to log into Sophos Central. We're going to pull down our AD Sync utility, which I can then share to the domain controller and begin our installation. So here in our workstation that does have access to the internet, you'll just want to go ahead and head to central.sophos.com and we'll go ahead and get logged in here. As we demonstrated in a previous video, there's a couple of different ways that we can create and manage our users. One, we can create them locally here within Sophos Central. And our other option is our Active Directory Sync Utility, which is right here. So we'll just go ahead and download our installer. And in case you didn't catch that, there's actually a couple of different ways that we can download this. Just right here under People and Active Directory Sync, which was going to take us over here to our Global Settings and selecting Download Installer. So once our download is complete, we'll want to transfer that over to our domain controller, which I've already done here. Go ahead and minimize this. And once we have the installer on the server, we'll go ahead and run it. So we're just selecting run here and we're going to follow the prompts. and install followed by finish alright so here's our Active Directory synchronization setup and we'll start here under Sophos credentials where we're just going to enter in the admin or our super admin account tied to our Sophos Central Next, we'll head on over here to our AD Configuration tab, where it's already going to populate our server's hostname in FQDN format, along with our LDAP port number, where we can use SSL, or we can use the unsecure method with TCP port 389. So here under our Active Directory username, this is where we're going to enter in our administrator account. This is the same user that you use to join workstations to your network domain. Here's where we're going to select the domains that we want to include when discovering Active Directory entries when we sync. In my particular example and in my small lab environment, we just have the single domain. However, in much larger networks, you may have more domains listed here. So just be sure to select all of the domains that you wish to be included. 
and we'll move on to our AD filters tab. Here we are just specifying our search options for the domain. So we can actually select our domain here and then define our filters. Just something to keep in mind that our child domains will not inherit search filters from the parent domain. So if you wanted to define some filters, you just select this button here where we can add and remove our search bases. and further apply filters to group discovery as well as public folders. Just go ahead and cancel this here and moving on to our sync schedule. So here's where we're actually going to define if and how often our Active Directory server will sync with Sofa Central. So if you're a larger organization and you're making changes more frequently within Active Directory, we can have Active Directory synchronized with Sofa Central up to two times a day. For our less changing environments, we can obviously tone that back a little bit. And we do also have the ability to, to do an on-demand sync. And I'll show that once we get this all set up. So we'll go ahead and select our synchronize schedule. And that's really it as far as the application configuration, so we'll go ahead and select finished here. Okay, great, so our utility here went and checked for an update. We can see that we're running the latest version of the AD Sync utility. And down here we can also see that the AD utility will actually synchronize at the time we had just configured, which was 5 a.m. But I also mentioned that we can configure an on-demand sync, so if we just go ahead and select this option here, our preview and sync, we can see our utility has communicated with LDAP, and these are currently our configured users. So these are our users and groups that will be synchronized to Sofo Central. You can review all of the information which is going to be synchronized up to Central within these individual tabs. And once you're happy, we'll go ahead and approve our changes and continue. Excellent. So here in our diagnostic notifications, we can see right here that our sync has finished without errors. So we'll go ahead and jump on over to Sofo Central. We'll go ahead and minimize our server, where we should see our users have been added. Excellent. And here they are. So this does take place rather quickly. Obviously, if you've got a much larger list of users and groups that we're synchronizing, it can take a little bit longer. But for my small lab environment, we can see that that took place almost immediately. So now we can actually just select our users and begin to push our installation packages out to these users. And that's really it. I mentioned that we're going to be rolling out a collection of videos centered around Sophos Central, so be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and that you have notifications turned on. That's the bell below so you're notified of future video releases and if you found our video helpful, feel free to give us a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any video topic ideas or something you would like to see, leave that in the comment section below. And be sure you come and check us out at firewalls.com. It's www.firewalls.com. Get secure. Stay secure.